Hey everybody, and welcome back to a new video. So I'm super excited, just got back from taking my exam, and I passed my exam. Um, I now officially a Part 107 FAA Certified Remote Pilot. So uh, it feels good to be able to actually uh, pass the test. Um, I was a little anxious when I went to take it, but uh, once I got there, sat down, the proctor who uh, did the test for me was really nice. The um, exam place was really, really, really cool. It was at the uh, uh, local airport um, down in uh, Boulder. It was the Boulder Municipal Airport where I went. Um, so you guys can look that up on a map and see where that's at. But uh, everybody was super nice to me. Um, it took me about an hour and 15 minutes. So what's on the test? So a lot of my test was on the sectional maps. So. If you guys are planning to take your Part 107, definitely study those Part 10, um, Part 107. Uh, definitely study the uh, the sectional maps. Uh, those I, I went. They give you a whole like um, a little book. It's the uh, Airman's uh, Knowledge Book, and basically it kind of just um, gives you different pages and figures to look at, and different pictures, and how to you know it may give you a like an area on the page to say, you know, at this airport, what's the elevation at the airport? It may say, you know, what uh, is the warning? I mean, there's all kinds of stuff on there. So, and they, but they give you a legend as well for all the maps and everything like that, which was really helpful. A lot of questions about airspace. So definitely, um, I would say like probably 50 to 60% of it was probably definitely sectional maps, airspace. Um, trying to think of some other questions, there were so many of them. Um, they had a lot to do with uh, crew management. Um, there was a lot to do with uh, the different things like the, the macho and invulnerabil invulnerability, I can't talk today, um, and the, the different uh, attitudes um, while, for pilots and things like that. Had a question on um, alcohol, there was like one question for that. Uh, there was one question on, um, I think it was, um, trying to remember, there was alcohol. Um, I can't remember all the different questions. There was uh, my my test was 60 questions, for, uh, and um, I scored an 80 percent. So I was hoping to shoot for at least a 70 or higher. I didn't expect myself to get 100. I wasn't putting that on myself to uh, try and be an over you know achieving person. You know, I just wanted to pass the exam. So I'm happy with my results. Um, and it doesn't matter if you get a 70 or you get 100 percent. It's a pass or it's a fail. So regardless of what it is. If you pass, you pass. If you fail, you fail. But I passed. So, but anyway, I'm super excited. I'm super happy about that. So now I have to wait 24 to 48 hours for the test to upload to the FAA site. Once it uploads to the FAA site, um, then I have to go through and I have to actually register, and then I have to wait for my temporary license, which I think takes roughly about seven days. And then once I get that, then I can start. Um, doing videos and things like that um, with my drone commercially um, and then in about usually he said about four to six weeks I'll get my permanent license in the mail um, and it looks like an actual driver's license so anyway um, really 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 um, excited about that uh, so I used a number of different uh, ways online um, one of the pages that I used or youtubers that I used was Tony and Chelsea uh, photography I will leave a link in the description and I'll also put a note up here for you guys too if you're interested. He's a uh, awesome photographer. He knows a lot, and his whole two-hour course really helped me um, to be able to pass the test. I didn't go through the Remote Pilot 101. I didn't go through any of the expensive classes or anything like that. I just basically went to the FAA site. I downloaded the um, the paperwork that you need to go with that. I watched some webinars and things like that and studied my butt off. Um, but other than that, that was really it. So. I mean, if you're the kind of person, if you want to spend that extra money and go to the class, absolutely go ahead and take it. Um, I studied on my own, and I watched the webinars, and it helped me to pass. So anyway, guys, it's official now. I am an FAA certified remote pilot, so I'm super excited about that. If you guys have any questions for me, I'll try and answer them as best as I, I can for you. Um, leave them in the comments below. So guys, uh, if you like my reviews, if you like the channel, Give me a thumbs up, and if you wouldn't mind, if you could hit the subscribe button for me down below there. And if you hit the bell, that just lets you know when I have uploads each and every week. Uh, typically, I upload Thursdays and Fridays, sometimes on the weekends if I have extra time. Uh, coming up this extra week here, I've got some really cool uh, drones in from 
gear best that they sent to me so i'll be doing reviews on those guys um so just keep an eye out for that but uh, otherwise guys as always let's keep our drones up in the air and flying high i'll see you guys on the next video have a great day thanks for hanging out with me today talk to you later